so the guy that played the Joker for like two scenes in Suicide Squad has a fucking cult. Uh, so basically, Jared Leto, I went on Twitter and I saw two tweets on my timeline. I'm not quite sure how they got there, but they deeply, deeply concerned me. And here's why. Uh, if you look at the text of the tweet, it says, Yes, this is a cult. And above that, it says 30 Seconds to Mars. Now, I had never heard of 30 Seconds to Mars before. I had heard of Jared Leto. So I looked into what 30 Seconds to Mars is, and apparently it's a band. But uh, basically what concerned me was not that the fact that he had a band, but if you go to the tweet where he says, yes, this is a cult, or whoever runs this Twitter said, yes, this is a cult, you'll see a shit ton of people in the first, second, third, and fourth picture all dressed in white and in the first picture if you zoom in you see mostly women you can see a couple men in the second picture they're all surrounding jared they're like he is jesus and he's giving them some proverbs and some ways to live life that they never knew before like he's bestowing them with some kind of wisdom and they're just sitting around him all dressed in white and again if you zoom in mostly women now uh you keep going you see jared walking he's being followed by a swarm of women dressed in white and the last picture is literally Jared's not even in it, just a swarm of women dressed in white at whatever the fuck they're at. The fact that there's these pictures of all these fucking women dressed purely in white following Jared is really, really fucking weird and it concerned me. So I decided to do a little bit of research and figure out where these people were, why they were meeting up, what if they're living on a goddamn commune and just being peaceful people and Jared just leaves and comes back every now and again and bestows some new knowledge on them. So again, I decided let's take a look and see what the fuck exactly is going on here? Upon searching, the first thing I found was Camp Mars. Now, basically, Camp Mars is like a summer camp for adults. So if you ever went to a summer camp when you were a child where they had fucking archery and fucking dancing and yoga and they gave you food and all that other shit, uh, that is basically the same thing, except it's all 30 Seconds to Mars themed and everybody gets to go to two 30 Seconds to Mars concerts. There's one concert each night and the camping trip last two days. Now, the thing is, that's fine, but why is everybody dressed in white? That's that's one thing. And then also, this is a very expensive thing to go to. All right. Uh, first off, let's go to the experience and see what they offer exactly for all the details. And then let's go ahead and see exactly how much the ticket prices are and what exactly people are getting. Now, if you go to experience, we'll see that it says uh, Camp Mars is a two night all inclusive experience. Relax and restore with hiking in the Santa Monica mountains. Take a dip in the pool. Enjoy outdoor activities like archery rock climbing and catch two intimate performances with 30 seconds to mars so again basically a summer camp for adults except with 30 seconds to mars theme uh, and if you keep going down it says you know we offer food and then there's different activities it doesn't give much detail on the activities it literally just talked about a pool archery and rock climbing that's that's not honestly a whole lot um and i'm sure there's probably fucking yoga and jared sitting around just reading his bible that he wrote okay so cool you get a concert each night you get some food each day you get to go to a concert each night and they have things like archery and whatnot okay that's cool um let's see how much the average summer camp costs the cost of a summer camp experience can vary substantially overnight camps can range from three hundred dollars almost to two thousand dollars per week day camps can charge from one hundred to thirteen hundred dollars per week now again they're saying 100 to 1300 dollars per week that is seven days this 30 seconds to mars adult camp is only fucking two nights all right also and i gotta say when you do go to a, a a summer camp typically they'll give you cabins and you get to sleep in a bunk and there's other people there now let's go ahead and let's see again what the tickets are going to be uh, and what the prices here are so here we have the the camp mars tickets so the first thing here we have is escape camping two nights bring your own tent assigned nine by nine tent plot in south camp so basically uh they just give you food you have to bring all your own shit you have to bring all your own tent and that is nine hundred and ninety nine dollars one thousand dollars for two nights 
and you have to bring your own tent. You don't get a fucking cabin to sleep in or anything like that. Then we have Night of the Hunter Cabin. Two nights, dorm style, rustic cabins in South Camp. So basically, the typical summer camp that you go to, this is what they'll have. They'll have a room or, you know, like they'll have a cabins, supposedly, and you go in there, there's bunks, and it's kind of like empty and bland, and you just sleep in your bunk, and then you leave and you go act do activities during the day. So if you want a cabin that you can sleep in, so you don't have to bring your own tent and you don't have to sleep outside, that will run you $1,000. $300 for two nights. That's $600 a night. You can stay at extremely, extremely nice hotels in a suite for $600 a fucking night. Then we have the Alibi Cabin. Two nights dorm style cabins in North Camp. Now this one here appears to be you get your own bed. And it's not a bunk bed, it's you know a regular bed. And what's that gonna do? That's again gonna run you up like $400. Here we are at $1,700 just so you can go ahead and have a bed. Okay, and now we're really about to jump. Here we go. Hurricane Lodge. Priority entry to Church of Mars concert for both nights. Two nights. Shared room in the main building of North Camp. $2,599. That's fucking insane. So basically, you get like a more private lodge, but you still have to share it with another person for $2,600. Then finally, we have the most expensive one here, which is $6,499. And here's what you get. Early entry included with exclusive welcome dinner Friday night, exclusive VIP experience with Jared, limited edition Camp Mars merchandise, priority entry to Camp Mars uh, concert both nights, priority seating, concierge service, parking pass or round trip car service from LAX or general LA area. Furnished lodge or room in the main building with air conditioning. Now, so th in order to have your own cabin and in order to have a meet and greet with Jared, right? And, and to have some special dinner and to get, you know, early entry, you have to pay $6,500. $6,500 for a meet and greet and a cabin. And how much does Four Seasons cost? How much does the four seasons cost one thousand dollars a night so you could spend six nights at the goddamn four seasons or you can spend two nights at this camp at this fucking summer camp with a sh looks like not that great of a goddamn cabin and you can meet jared leto and you know what pisses me off about all this they're all sold out Every fucking thing that you could buy is gone. There's no escape camping. There's none of the most expensive one. All of them have been sold. So that's the prices and everything. And then let's go ahead and go over to the info and see if there's anything interesting here. It says no drugs or no alcohol. Now I understand that. However, it's a little weird. Like when people go to festivals, they don't go to festivals to stay sober. You go to a festival in order to get fucked up. Like, people don't go to Coachella to stay sober, you know what I mean? And this is a two-day festival, basically. It's very similar to a festival, except, you know, you have some fucking archery and shit. And these motherfuckers are like, no alcohol, no drugs. That would be the most boring thing in the world. But you know what? People spend their money on whatever they want to spend their money on. I'm just kind of bringing this to light because it's really weird. I don't see anywhere in here that it says that people have to wear white. It just appears that people are wearing white. Like, I, under the info, it doesn't say, oh, bring white clothing or anything like that. It simply says, you know, just, just, it simply says, you know, don't bring alcohol. It brings in, you know, the normal rules and whatnot. But nothing says wear white. And they're all following this motherfucker like he's some messiah. And it's very strange. So that's the end of Camp Mars. Overall, you know, they're doing whatever the fuck they're doing. It's all good. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not knocking them. I just think it's really really fucking weird but then i dug a little deeper and i noticed that there was something else there was a thing called mars island now mars island it's in croatia that's that's basically what i know it's in croatia and it also has similar pricing on all of their ticket options and it appears to be the same thing as camp mars except completely out of the country and in a really weird spot too like how many people are 
in Croatia already that want to see 30 Seconds of Mars or want to go to this. So it's not like they're trying to go to Europe and give their fans the chance. They're going way out into the, uh, you know, wherever, and, and that's where they're doing it. And I'm sure it's a very pretty spot or something, but you'd think you'd want to be at a place that it's more accessible or you have more fans or whatnot. Uh, but no, they went to Croatia. If you scroll down, it says, you know, the normal stuff, all uh, Mars Island is a three night, all inclusive festival experience. Now, again, the tickets are very similar. Similar. You can either get a camping spot, you can go to the, this, these large tents, they have lodges uh, and all that stuff, and then they have of course like the ultimate experience here, and that one's like personalized festival experience, private transfer, personal on-site butler, daily ma uh, massages, well, that's a lot of shit here, private dining experience with an appearance from Jared and Shannon, that's fucking hilarious, private dining experience with an appearance from Jared and Shannon, they can't take away from their busy time on this island where their only job is to entertain these people and they can just make an appearance they're not gonna eat dinner with you you're not gonna get to sit down and have a dinner with them it's not like Disneyland where if you you know you get a dinner with Mickey Mouse you actually get them to stay there no this is just they'll show up say hi and fucking dip off <laughs> like that's what it is so really weird shit um it's just I, I find it weird that it's on an island but but then what really made me want to make this video is if you go to info on camp mars the the limit that they have for the age is 18 you have to be at least 18 to go now if you go to info on mars island and you scroll on down is there an age limit and when you look at is there an age limit it says mars island is limited to attendees 18 and over unfortunately as passports must be scanned for the croatian tourism department we will know whether attendees meet age attendance requirements now this is weird to me because why the fuck would you say unfortunately? Now, to let you guys know, the legal age limit in Croatia is 15 years old. Of course, you have to be 18 and over to get into this, but fucking, it's just so weird that he said unfortunately. Also, there have been allegations from, I believe, James Gunn uh, about Jared Leto, obviously, uh, for pedophilia. There's nothing that's set in stone, so just that could have been a joke. It could have been whatever. I'm not too sure. I just know, you know, I've read a couple things um and then there are other allegations um about jared leto out there not necessarily about you know underage people but there, there's all sorts of shit and on top of that he has this fucking cult where they're calling it a cult and they have they're dressing in white and they have this goddamn island where they're like unfortunately we can't let underage people in i don't have much to actually add to this i just wanted to tell you guys that this exists because it's fucking weird to me and it's been bothering me and i really needed to share it with people why the fuck did they say unfortunately why is everyone dressed in white when it doesn't have like a rule there saying please dress in white why are they all sitting around jared like he's giving them some goddamn information that only god could give them like i, I it just it hurts my brain also one thing too that is if if Again, I, I'm not saying that this is happening, so please don't sue me. Of course, this is all conjecture, um, but if Jared Leto were to have sex with an underage girl in Croatia as their age limit is 15, it actually would still be illegal. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't, I think, realize. However, they're, uh, you, you know what, actually, you know what, let me go ahead and let lawyer Pikachu explain this because this this is his job this is his expertise uh, lawyer Pikachu what's up my guy can you explain to us what's up my guy so basically if you decide to leave the United States and go anywhere where it is a lower age limit for sex they will consider that sexual tourism which is indeed a crime within the United States you will be extradited from the country you are in to face punishment and you will indeed go to jail typically speaking you're gonna have to pay some fines and you can get up to 30 years in prison now that's a long time to be raped in the ass every day for 30 fucking years but you know what when Jared Leto realizes that he's not Jesus and he gets caught for fucking children on his weird goddamn sex island like he's Jeffrey Epstein uh, then he's going to go ahead and be fucking the ass every day for 30 fucking years well at least 30 years per child as it would be each count of sexual tourism so anyway uh, don't leave the country to fuck minors and again uh, we're not saying that that Jeff, that that, uh, that he definitely that jared definitely fucks minors but i mean would anybody be surprised <laughs> Okay, and thank you, Pikachu. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you, my boy. Uh, th that's that's it for this video. Again, I don't really have anything to add. Uh, this was just weird, and I wanted to let people know. So, thanks for watching. Look out for new music coming soon. Also, go check out my other music that's already come out. Love you guys, and have a great day, night, whatever the fuck it is. It's so late. I gotta go edit this and go to sleep. 
Yo, Pikachu, you ready to go ahead and give me some of that throat, bro?